Ujumbe ambao ningependa kufundisha siku ya leo unasema succeeding where others have failed. Na wacha nikuambie mimi hata ukinipatia sababu mia moja na moja za your failure I don't believe in failure. It is not part of my vocabulary. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu nimejua you can succeed where others have failed. Unaweza kusema huyu apostle wako na kibuli. Sio kibuli hapana ni kwa sababu kuna sili nimeona katika neno la Mungu na hiyo sili imenisaidia ya kwamba ninaweza kufauru mahali wengine wameshindwa. Na nitakuonyesha ni kwa nini. Praise the name of the living God. Ninaweza kufauru kwa nini na mwingine alipitia hapo hapo akashindwa na mimi nipitie pale pale na nishinde. Hallelujah. And that is why haufai kuwa frustrated by the failures of other people. That is why you should not give up because of the failures of other people. Bwana pewe sifa. Hore zangu za kwanza ambazo nilifungua kanisa pale na kuru, hole yangu ya kwanza na ya pili zote zilikuwa na makanisa yaliyokuwa bere yangu yakafungwa. Ya kwanza nilioingia mara ya kwanza ilifungwa nilipatiwa hata platform na viti na podium. Ya pili mahali nilihamia nilipatiwa form ya mtu mwingine alikuwa pale na akafunga kanisa. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Am I special? Sitaki kuchipigia darama lakini juzi kuna mchungaji mmoja alikuja kwangu akaniambia Mungu amenituma. Akaniambia uniombee niweze kuangalia Mungu vile huwa unamwangalia niweze kutegemea Mungu vile huwa unamtegemea nataka nikufundishe jinsi ya kufauru mahali wengine wameweza kushindwa jina la Bwana lipewe sifa tofauti yetu sisi wote katika maisha ni mahali ambapo huwa tunaangalia msaada wetu utatoka that is all that makes the big difference wewe unaangalianga msaada wako utatoka wapi? Kuna watu msaada wao ni mshahara na kila wakati lazima wapange mambo yao yote kulingana na mshahara. Mafikara yake ameyaweka kulingana na mshahara anaopata. Kuna wengine wao msaada wao ni wazazi, kuna wengine msaada wao ni anko ambaye anawalipia shule. Kuna wengine msaada wao ni washirika 36 walio nao na mmoja akiondoka anajua msaada umepungua inabidi amkimbize na miguu yote miwili sisi wote kuna mahali ambapo huwa tunaangalia msaada wetu unatoka wapi there is a way you have set in your heart and the bible says as a man thinketh so he is you can never be able to rise above your thought life vile umeweka mawazo yangu ya kwamba msaada wangu ni mshahara msaada wangu ni masomo msaada wangu ni wazazi msaada wangu ni washirika nilio nao kanisani vile umeweka mawazo yako hauwezi inuka juu ya mahali pale kama uko na biashara hauwezi enda kiwango cha juu kuliko hiyo biashara kama mawazo yako yote umeyaweka katika ile biashara lakini amebarikiwa yule ambaye mawazo yake yote ameyaweka kwa Bwana na ameyaweka katika ukuu wa Mungu ambaye ni mtawara wa dunia yote amebarikiwa awezae kuweka mawazo yake ndani ya Bwana na kumtegemea na moyo wake wote wacha tuingie katika neno la Bwana nitafundisha na watu kadhaa wa ine watano katika Biblia. Biblia inasema Matthew chapter 14:26 to 30. We are going to read from verse 26. Matthew 14:26 to 30. Ninasoma na Kiswahili. Kuanzia mstari wa 26 Biblia inasema wanafunzi walipomuona akienda juu ya bahari wakafadhaika wakisema ni kivuli wakapiga yoe kwa hofu mara Yesu akasema akawaambia jipeni moyo ni mimi msiogope Petro akamjibu akasema Bwana ikiwa ni wewe niamuru nije kwako juu ya maji akasema njoo Petro akashuka chomboni akaenda kwa miguu juu ya maji 
ili kumuendea Yesu lakini alipouona upepo akaogopa akaanza kuzama akapiga yowe akisema bwana niokoe mara Yesu akanyosha mkono wake akamshika akamwambia ewe mwenye imani haba bona uliona shaka nao walipopanda chomboni upepo ulikoma praise the name of the living god Huyu ni Yesu kwa mara ya kwanza tunamuona anatembea juu ya maji na ametokea wanafunzi wake na hawakuwa wanajua kama ni yeye ama ni ghost. Na kwa hivyo mara ya kwanza walistuka lakini Yesu akawaambia msistuke ni mimi. Naye Petoro akamwambia kama ni wewe Yesu niabie nije. Tell me to come. Kwa sababu Petoro alikuwa na imani ya kwamba kama Yesu anatembea juu ya maji hata yeye anaweza kutembea juu ya maji na Petoro alikiwa ameangalia Yesu akaanza kuchukua hatua moja kwa nyingine akiwa anaelekea kwa Yesu Bwana pewe sifa Lakini alipokuwa anaelekea kwa Yesu kuna mahali alifika verse 27 verse 28 verse 29 inasema and he said come and when Peter was come down out of the ship he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Alifanya nini? Alitembea kwa maji akienda kwa nani? Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha alikuwa anamwangalia nani? But verse that inasema verse that inasema but when he saw the wind boisterous he was afraid and beginning to sink he cried saying Lord save me. Kwa hivyo ilifika mahali Petero akiwa anatembea anaenda kwa Yesu, akatoa macho kwa Yesu, akaweka macho kwa upepo. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba when he saw the wind boisterous, wakati aliona upepo umevuma, akaanza kuingia ndani ya maji, akalia akamuita Yesu, akamwambia Yesu niokoe. Kwa hivyo tofauti ya Petero kutembea katika maji ni kwa sababu amemwangalia Yesu. Lakini alipotoa macho yake kwa Yesu basi alianza kuzama katika maji. Nataka kusema ya kwamba unaweza kufaulu mahali wengine wameshindwa kama unaweza kuweka macho yako kwa Mungu na usiaondoe pale. Praise the name of the living God. Haijalishi kama upepo utavuma. Haijalishi ripoti ya daktari lakini the Bible says fix your eyes unto Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Kama Petero angeenda angeendelea kumwangalia Yesu, aigino upepo angevuka. Angefika mahali Yesu alikuwa. Lakini sasa alitoa wakati aliona upepo umevuma. We are all distracted by what is happening around us. We are all distracted by the many needs that we have in life. We are all distracted by the many challenges we are going through. But if only we can be able to fix our eyes unto Jesus, tunaweza kuvuka ngambo ile nyingine. Praise the name of the living God. Ninaondoa macho yako kwa kansa. Ninaondoa macho yako kwa ugonjwa wa figo. Ninaondoa macho yako kwa madeni. Ninaweka macho yako na ni macho ya moyo ninayaweka kwa Yesu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, apostle hii sasa nikiweka macho kwa Yesu inanisaidia namna gani? Inakusaidia hivi. The Bible says in Isaiah 33 verse 17. Isaiah 33 verse 17 nasema Isaiah Let me open both of them. 33:17. Are you there? Can we read together mimi nasoma na Kiswahili? Inasema ya kwamba macho yako yatamuona mfalme katika uzuri wake yataona inchi iliyoenea sana. The Bible says thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. Yaani kumaanisha ya kwamba macho yako yakianza kumuona mfalme yakianza kumuona Mungu katika utukufu wake. Bibi nasema ya kwamba utaona inchi ambayo imeenea. Do you know what this means? The Bible is trying to tell us that the more you fix your eyes and you see God, the more your vision becomes bigger. 
praise the name of the living God. Vile unavyoendelea kumuona Mungu mfalme katika utukufu wake. Hata tuchukue tu. Tuchukue mfalme wa hapa duniani. Praise the name of the living God. Saa hizi ukiambiwa e, umepata appointment kwenda kuona president Uhuru Kenyatta. Na kesho utaenda state house. Na haujui ni nini amekuitia. Lakini unasikia kuna mazuri pale. Utaanza kufikiria nini? Wakati unajiandaa, utaanza kufikiria nini? Naweza enda pale nipatiwe ka briefcase ya pesa. Naweza wenda pale. Si si kwani utakuwa unaona mambo madogo kweli? Si utakuwa unaona mambo makubwa? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Si utakuwa naweza kupatiwa kazi ya basenda. Naweza kuulizwa ninatakanga nyumba ya bedroom ngapi nijengewe bule? Yaani si ukiitwa na mfalme utaanza kufikiria mambo makubwa. Naye bibi nasema ya kwamba utamuona mfalme katika uzuri wake na macho yako yataona inchi ambayo imeenea. The more you fix your eyes unto God and to Jesus, the more your vision becomes bigger. Kuna wakati mmoja nilikuwa US nikakutana na mwanasayansi mmoja wale ambao huwa wanaenda kwa mwezi akas tukamuuliza ni kitu gani kilichokushangaza sana akatuambia kitu kile kilimshangaza sana ni wakati waliondoka wakienda wakatoka sasa kwa the planet earth wakiwa mbali wanaiangalia wanaona ikiwa kampira kadogo the earth wanaona ikiwa inatoshana hivi sasa wakati huo unasikia kwamba Mungu huwa anayapima maji ya maziwa yote na mkono wake an, an, anaweka tu hivi anasema na don't know maranyi wa mai <laughs> alafu anaimwaga <laughs> bwana pe sifa you know some of us hatujawahi kujua yule Mungu ambaye tuna deal naye Anasemanga juu binguni ni mahali pake pa kukaa. Duniani ni mahali pa kuweka mguu. Yaani hawezi kutoshea hapa, anakanyagisha tu miguu. This is his footstool. Ndipo sababu Biblia inasema in him we live, in him we dwell, in him we have our being. Kwa hivyo mahali umekaa saa hizi umekaa katika kucha ya Mungu tu. Sehemu moja tu ya mguu unakaa tu uko ndani, unapeleka una gari na uko ndani yake tu. Hata ukiwa na speed ya one way uko tu ndani. <laughs> Bwana pewe sifa. Haleluya. Jina diposa wakati Ayubu aliteta na akaongea mambo mengi, baadaye Mungu alimwambia Ayubu nataka kuongea na wewe. Akaanza kumwambia wakati nilikuwa napima vipimo vya dunia. Unajua vile huwa unapima nyumba ndio Mungu alipima vipimo vya dunia. Alafu akaiweka juu in the axis ndio iwe inazunguka. Sijui kama unajua hii dunia tuko saa hizi inazunguka kwa kasi sana, bado inazunguka hata saa hizi ina bwana ipoe sifa na ni Mungu sijui alikuwa nauliza Ayubu wakati nilikuwa na Izet na iwekelea hapa kwa pega na isukuma hivi ndio ingie ianze kuzuguka ulikuwa wapi bwana ipoe sifa Mungu tunaye muabudu ni Mungu you know sometimes some people even fear the devil wakati nilikuwa hapa mwisho nilikuwa nafundisha juu ya warfare na inajua kuna watu kiingia juu ya warfare kupigana na shetani na majini na mizimu na nini wengine hata wanaogopa lakini kuna kitu moja kilifanya niwache uoga ungetaka nikwambie ni nini niulize ni nini <laughs> kile kilifanya niache uoga ni wakati nilijua shetani he is part of god's creation he is not a creator na akiwa part of god's creation ile nguvu shetani anatumia ni ile Mungu alimpatia Unajua Mungu sio watu wale mkikosana na wao anakwambia leta ile vitu nikupatia Unajua kuna watu mkikosana na wao ile slippers ya 1998 anakuitisha na anajua ilikwisha Hata ile slippers nilikupatia wakati ilikuja kutembea kwetu leta Kuna watu mkikosana anakuitisha kila kitu Mungu mkikosana na yeye hakuitishangi So wakati walikosana na shetani ile nguvu walikuwa wamempatia hakumuitisha. Bwana pewe sifa. Ako naye. Lakini kuna kitu alifanya. Alituita. Praise the name of the living God. Unajua ukiona mwizi amekuja kwako. Maybe you are a father. Na pengine umeona alikuwa anataka kuiba lakini mumempata ametoroka. 
unaambia you are son fuata huyo mwizi hauwezi kuambia you are son afuate mwizi kama unajua mwizi yako na buduki na you are son ako na kisu lakini ukijua you are mwizi ametoroka na alikuwa na kisu na you are son ako na AK47 si utamwambia fuata hiyo mwizi umalizie yeye Nae ukiona Mungu anatuambia endeni mukanyange inge na nyoka na hazita wadhuru Bwana asifiwe sana Mungu anajua kile alipatia shetani ni kisu na sisi ametupatia AK47 Praise the name of the living God Sasa anatuambia ninajua kile nilikuwa nimempatia Lakini kile sasa nimewapatia kama kanisa Praise the name of the living God. Fuateni mukanyange inge na nyoka na hazita wathuru. Praise the name of the living God. Kama nguvu hupimwa na mitungi, shetani yako na kikombe moja, tumepatiwa lita 20. Praise the name of the living God. Kile tuko nacho hakiwezi kutoshana na kile shetani yako nacho. Tuko na nguvu zaidi, tuko na mamlaka zaidi. Tuyatumie vizuri tuharibu kazi zote za shetani hapa maua bila kuogopa chukua mamlaka yako kama muaminio na usiogope katika jina la Yesu Kristo my god my god oh you know people who have small minds huwa wanafikiria Mungu wanashindana na shetani oh i forgive you ninakusamehe Mungu hawashindani na shetani. God is too big to compete with the devil. Nikuhurumia ni, ni tu na hurumia shetani. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Na anamwambia hata hiyo unajaribu kufanya ni kazi yangu. Kwa sababu watu wengine kama hakungekuwa na shetani hamungekuja kanisani. Kwa hivyo bado shetani anasaidia Mungu kufanya kazi. <laughs> Bwana pewe sifa. You know God is so wise. Praise the name of the living God. And in his wisdom, he knows that he is able to cause all things to work for good. Praise the name of the living God. Sasa bibi inasema ya kwamba your eyes shall see the king and you shall see a land that spreads afar off. Wale tuko nao hapa tunatoka kanisani kuna wakati mimi huambia kanisa yetu ni kubwa iko na watu zaidi ya 1000 lakini mimi huwa nawaambia mimi naezaacha hii kanisa niende nikatafute Mungu because i cannot compare what i see in our church with what god can do praise the name of the living god amen kwa sababu in fact Mungu anasema ask and i will give you the nations for a possession Mungu anauliza niulize ni, ni nitakupatia mataifa Watch a town. Watch a one nation. Mungu anasema I'll give you the nations. Praise the name of the living God. What is a village? What is one city? Nilikuwa nauliza maua iko na population ya watu wangapi? Pengine MCA wetu anajua, but I know it is over 100,000 people. Praise the name of the living God. Si ni zaidi ya watu 1,000 maua. Kitu kama hiyo. Na hapa hatuna kanisa ya watu 2,000. 20,000 hatuna. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Lazima kuwe na watu watakao inua imani yao. Katika kizazi hiki ndio Mungu aweze kujidhirisha. Watu wote Yesu aliyofanyia miujiza hata Batimaya na alikuwa kipofu wakati alifika kwa Yesu, Yesu alimuuliza unataka nikufanyie nini? Na anajua ni kipofu. Akasema anataka kukupona. Akamwambia imani yako imekuponya. Yesu hakufanyia mtu zaidi ya imani yake. Alikuwa anaambia watu imani yako. Eh? Ukiamini Yesu lazima akuje kwako afanye muujiza anakuja. Ukiamini Yesu anaweza kutuma neno na mtumishi wako apone anatuma neno. Yesu alifanyia watu sawa sawa na imani yako. Praise the name of the living God. Oh, nainua watu wa imani kubwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo watu watakao muaminia Mungu mambo makubwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the living god lakini unajua challenge tulio nao ni ya kwamba we have a problem of what we call grasshopper mentality 
praise the name of the living God. Watu wengi ufikiria vile naweza kuweka kakibada hapa na niweke papa 20 na avocado 30 na zile zinaharibika naendelea kukula. <laughs> Bwana mpewe sifa. Hallelujah. You know that was one of the challenges of the children of Israel when God wanted to take them to the promised land walisema hiyo inchi inakula hata wenyeji. Tulijiona kama nzige na hata wao wenyewe walituona kama nzige. Nani alikuambia? Hiyo ilikuwa ni uongo wao. Bibi nasema akahaba rahaba alikuwa amesema watu wamesikia habari ya Mungu wenu na kila mmoja hapa anatetemeka. Rafu mnaanza kusema mnaonekana kama nzige na watu jeri konzima ilikuwa tiari wamejawa na maji wamesikia juu ya ripoti ya Mungu wa Israeli na vile amefanyia farao na majeshi yake yote kila mtu alikuwa anaogopa lakini wale mtu wana, Mungu anataka kuwasaidia they have a grasshopper mentality wanajiona kama nzige Mungu anataka kuwainua kuwatumia taifa linatetemeka mji unatetemeka kwa sababu ya Mungu wao lakini wao wenyewe wanajiona kama nzige the problem is how we see ourselves even as believers. Some of us we learn away from witchcraft. Badala ya ulizia waganga wako wapi? Tuonane na wao face to face. Praise the name of the living God. Ukisikia huyo ni muabudu shetani unabadisha jia. Guy, keje jia jira. Ati kwa sababu anaabudu shetani. Kwa ni shetani? The Bible says he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Unafaa kumfuata na kumuangalia na macho anachomeka. Mpaka anakuambia wacha kuniangalia na macho ninachomeka na huyo Yesu aliye ndani yako unaponiangalia. Siwezi kustahimili nguvu ambazo uko nazo. Praise the name of the living God. Hakuna adui mkubwa kama uoga. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. The Bible says you shall see the king in his glory. And you shall see a land that spreads afar off. I thank God. Mimi wakati ni yokoka. I was not a church goer. Mimi ni yokoka ni kiwa peke yangu. Na ni yokoka kwa sababu ni liangalia ukuwa mungu. Ni kaona dunia ni kwa naangalia dunia creation. Ni kasema kama ni mungu aliuba hii yote. Siyata huyu mungu hata mimi naeza kumutumikia. Mimi ni yokoka kwa sababu ni tamani ukuwa mungu. Zio dini. I was not a church goer. I was not interested in the church. My first time to fast for 21 days, I fasted kwa sababu niliambia Mungu, I want this word to be real in my life. Kwa sababu mtu hawezi kukuambia ukienda Meru utafika Kangeta baada ya 30 minutes, ndio? Alafu unaenda 3 hours au ufiki Kangeta na bado unasema tunaenda Meru. Utapataje Meru? kama ze, matauni yaliyo barabarani hauoni hata moja si umepotea njia unawezaje eti kusema tunaenda binguni kwa imani na ile mambo Mungu amesema utaona njiani kabla haujafika binguni hauoni kibao hata moja hauoni hakuna kitu unaona <laughs> Yesu anarudi tu tunaenda binguni kwa imani na hakuna kitu unaona Alisema watakao amini watawekelea wakojo mikono watapata afya wataongea kwa lugha mpya praise the name of the living god watakemea mapepo na mapepo yatatoka kuna mambo Yesu amekuambia utayaona hapa kabla haujafika juu binguni na ni ishara nzuri zinakuambia nikiona hii inaniambia niko kwa njia Bwana pe sifa haleluya lazima tutamani kuona ukuu wa Mungu Isaiah uh, 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 Psalm 78 inasema ya kwamba wana wa Israeli walimkasirisha Mungu. Unajua walimkasirisha Mungu kwa sababu gani? Walikaa chini wakaanza kuulizana na Mungu alitupatia maji kutoka kwa mwamba. Na je, anaweza kuleta nyama hapa jangwani na huko tile bushiri? Hakuna bushiri. Anaweza kupatia hawa watu wote nyama. Bibi inasema ya kwamba Wakati Mungu alipowasikiliza alikasirika. Jina ambalo anaipa sifa. Na alipokasirika alileta upepo. Akaleta zile zinaitwa quails, zile mmeanza kufuga juzi juzi. Jina ambalo anaipa sifa. 
zililetwa na upepo hawakukura siku moja hawakukura wiki moja ama wiki mbili zilinyesha kama zililetwa zikawa kama zaidi ya mita moja juu wakaokota wakazikura wakazikura paka zikatoka na mapua kwa sababu Mungu hakuwapatia kwa uzuri aliwapatia kwa hasira yani you know the, the kumwamba Mungu the Bible says they spoke against God you know speaking against somebody ni kama uulize sasa na apostle kweli anaweza kupatia shilingi moja. do i look like a hundred ha huh? si mtu akisema fulani anaweza kupatia shilingi kumi kweli si hiyo ni character assassination ha huh? wakati unauliza mtu ambaye ako na pesa kama anaweza kupatia kumi si ni character assassination sasa nao walifanyia Mungu character assassination walianza kuuliza na Mungu anaweza patia watu hawa wote nyama Mungu akauliza nani mnauliza juu yake ni nani mnaulizia hivyo ati kama anaweza kuwapatia nyama mtazikura zitoke na mapua praise the name of the living god haleluya wengine hata tukiomba mambo yetu madogo madogo Mungu anatuangalia tu anatuhurumia. Jina la Bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Naomba imani yako iinuke kuanzia siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Naomba Mungu akuguze mara ya pili katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hata mimi sijafika lakini kuna kitu huwa kinanisaidia. Huwa ninajaribu kuangalia Mungu. Unajua there are two ways of looking at your problem. Amen. Wana wa Israeli walipofika pale katika bahari ya Shamu waliangalia jeshi la farao wakaanza kulia. Wakamwambia Musa, "Yaani hakukuwa na kabuli Misri. Kwa nini ulitutoa kule?" Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. One of the things that we don't do, we always look at our enemy but we never compare our enemy with our god ningetaka siku moja uweke shida yako ya shilingi 2000 hapa alafu uweke Mungu hapa bwana pe sifa uniambie kama Mungu huyu akako na uwezo wa kutoshana na hiyo shida kwa sababu kama tungemwangalia Mungu na tuweke hitaji letu hapa hitaji letu ni ndogo sana ya kwamba hata tunawapaomba Mungu akuje mwenyewe asitumane tunafaa kumwambia tafadhali Mungu tumana. Unajua kuna hiyo mambo watu wameanza kusema baba kuja na usitumane ukuje mwenyewe. Kuna vitu vya kuambia Mungu usikuje mwenyewe kwa sababu vitu zile unaitia Mungu mwenyewe hata akikuja hapo mwenyewe hata we utaanguka chini. Unafaa vitu zingine unaambia Mungu kama kuna mtoto wa malaika hata asitume malaika mwenyewe atume mtoto wa malaika Kama kuna watoto wa malaika Praise the name of the living God Because some problems are too small for God It's only that we need to see him as he is Praise the name of the living God Wacha nikuonyeshe mtu mmoja ambaye aliweza kufaulu mahali wengine waliweza kushindwa kwa njia kubwa and you are going to be encouraged tonight. First Samuel 17 from verse 42. Samueli wa kwanza 42. This message can take you places that you have never thought of in your life. First Samuel 17 Are you there? from verse 42 Biblia inasema hivi kuanzia mstari wa 42 Wale mkonje mnasikia Watu wenje sema haleluya Tuko pamoja Sawa sawa Haya sikiliza 42 inasema hivi First Samuel 17:42 Hata Mfilisti alipotazama huku na huku akamuona Daudi akamdharau Kwa kuwa ni kijana tu mwekundu tena ana sura nzuri Mfilisti akamwambia Daudi je mimi ni mbwa hata umeniinjia kwa fimbo Mufiristi akamlaani Daudi kwa miungu yake Mufiristi akamwambia Daudi Huku kwangu wow. nyama yako nitawapa ndege waangani 
na wanyama wa mwituni 45 ndipo Daudi akamwambia yule mfirisi wewe unaniijia mimi kwa upanga na fumo na mukuki bali mimi ninakujia wewe kwa jina la Bwana wa majeshi Mungu wa majeshi ya Israeli uliowatukana Tunajua story ya Daudi ya kwamba ametumwa na baba yake pelekea ndugu zako chakula ukiangalia vile wanavyoendelea na vita Daudi ameenda pale amebeba vyakula vyake akipelekea ndugu zake kabla hata haja wapatia chakula akionado matitimukete akaona watu wamepiga mbio akashindwa kwani kuna nini ni kama vile unaweza kuta mgomo town unakuta watu wanakimbia unashindwa ukimbie na wao ama uangalia kwanza ni nani anawakimbiza Daudi akadecide sitakimbia na wao kwanza wacha nione ni nani anawakimbiza akaangalia akaona kimufiristi kinaitwa Goliath ndugu zake walipomuona wakamwambia wewe mjeuli umekuja kuangalia tu hapa vile tunakimbizwa <laughs> uliwacha hizo kondoo za baba yangu na, 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 na baba yetu na nani Daudi akawauliza is there no cause wewe hauoni sababu yani mumezoea kukimbizwa na huyu mufiristi ambaye hajatairiwa eh ndugu zake wakauliza kaika kama mtu na kokeno kali yule ku haka mtu naye kwani kako na ushujaa gani <laughs> bwana pe sifa haleluya this is a secret of succeeding where others have failed the whole israelite army had failed wakiongozwa na sao walikuwa wanakimbizwa na mfiristi ambaye hajatairiwa lakini Daudi kijana tu mdogo amekuja ameangalia anawachari jana waambia sasa nyinyi yani huyu mfiristi na hajatairiwa ndiye anawakimbiza hivi kaanza kuulizia ulizia ule atakaye muua uh, mfalme amesema atapatiwa nini praise the name of the living god you know there are things when you start speaking them watu wengine wataona ni kibuli uko nacho na sio kibuli jina bwana ipewe sifa so daudi alipoanza kuongea hivyo aliona kama ni kibuli yako nacho kwa sababu jeshi nzima limeshindwa na kamutuka moja kanaanza kuulizia mtu atapatiwa nini kaambiwa mfalme kwanza ye mwenyewe amesaleda dota yake amesema hapa mtu akiokoa jahazi ni kumpatia msichana yake kwanza <laughs> alafu baadaye kodi hakuna kulipa pamoja na watu wake wote unajua alikuwa anatoa sehemu ya kumi kwa mfalme pia na ndio kusustain hiyo ndio ilikuwa tax ya 10% sasa Daudi akasema hiyo mambo yote mtu atafanyiwa kaambiwa dio akaenda akasema basi nionyeshano na mfalme akapelekwa kwa sao akamwambia dio mimi niko tayari kuonana hii mtu akamwangalia akamwambia huyu mtu hata hana mavazi ya vita Soro akamwambia basi na huko na ujasiri gani wewe kijana akamwambia mimi unayeniona hapa nikiwa kule malishoni mwanaduba amekuja kuchukua kondoo nikamshika nikamuua mwana simba na yeye akakuja kujaribu kula kondoo nikamshika na ndevu zake nikamaliza na ninaona hata huyu mufiristi ambaye hajatairiwa nitamfanya vile nilifanyia mwanaduba na vile nilifanyia mwana simba kwa sababu Mungu ninaye mtumikia ni yule jana na leo na hata milele hajawahi kuniwacha na hajabadilika hata huyu mufiristi nitamfanyia hivyo hivyo praise the name of the living god pia bwana yesu makofi ya shangwe amen basi soro akasema yenyewe wacha tu risk tu kwa sababu hapa tunahitaji msaada lakini akamwambia siuende na hii mavazi yangu Okay Daudi akasema kwa sababu ni mfalme Reta akavaa kuvaa troza inafagia chini <laughs> Vitu vyote ni kubwa kubwa hata helmet akiweka inafunika macho hapa Daudi akamwambia I cannot go in this after all you have been defeated with this armor I don't need it Praise the name of the living God. Umeshawahi kuwa na watu ambao wanakushauri na ile mashauri wanakupatia haijafanya kazi kwao? <laughs> Haijawasaidia? Bwana pewe sifa. Na wanakwambia hii mashauri jaribu, jaribu, jaribu. 
na yeye mwenyewe hajaifanyisha kazi ikafanya Daudi akamwambia wacha nitumie ile kitu nimeona ikifanya kazi Praise the name of the living God hii panda yangu ndio huwa ninatumia hiyo nitakayeenda naye wote wakashikiria pumzi wakaona Daudi kana chukua hatua ya kwanza ha wakaulizana na kale anego dikaradhi kanaenda kabisa wakaona goli ya naye anachukua hatua akija Daudi arudi nyuma kwanza wakati nimeshai kuwa na some movies ambazo zimeact juu ya Goliath na David zingine huwa vile zinaact Goliath akianza kuchukua hatua kuja Daudi huwa anakimbia <laughs> Yaani haedi pole pole na slow motion anakimbia Praise the name of the living God Nafikia Goliath kiliangalia hivi kikaogopa kidogo kinamwambia wewe nitapatia nitapatia nyama zako ndege waangani Yaani Daudi alikuwa na uh, mufilisti ya Goliath alimkuwa anamwambia nyama zako ni kidogo sana ni za kulisha ndege. Naye Daudi akamwambia mimi nitalisha mizoga ye, mzoga wako na jeshi lote la wafilisti. Sio we peke yako? Hapana. Hey! Ushujaa gani huyu? Bibi anasema utamuona mfalme katika utukufu wake na utaona inchi ambayo imeenea praise the name of the living god diposa daudi akiandika zaburi anasema ya kwamba hata jeshi likija kwangu sitaogopa kwa sababu yule aliye upande wangu ni bwana wa majeshi hey praise the name of the living god yani god ya anaongea juu ya nyama za daudi atazipatia ndege wangani naye daudi anaongea juu ya nyama za goliath na jeshi lote la wafilisti praise the name of the living god na baadaye daudi aliua goliath sasa sili how did david succeed when a whole army had failed praise the name of the living god amen daudi alimwambia mfilisti wewe unanikujia na mikuki jina ambapo anaipewa sifa haleluya lakini mimi nakujia katika jina la Bwana wa majeshi yote ya Israeli. Hilo ndiyo jina ambalo nimelitazamia ya kwamba litaleta wokovu leo katika Israeli na litaondoa aibu ya kukimbizwa na Mfilisti ambaye hajatahiriwa. Haleluya! You can succeed where others have failed. Praise the name of the living God. Inategemea tu macho yako umeyaweka wapi. Kama umeweka macho yako kwa Bwana, haijalishi kama jamii yenu inaitwa masikini na masikini. Unajua kuna masikini wanaitanga wale wengine masikini. Amen. Hata kama mnaitangwa masikini na masikini, kama umeweka macho yako kwa Bwana, yeye ndiye mwenye dhahabu, yeye ndiye mwenye fedha atakuja atainua macho yako atainua maisha yako he is the lifter of your head praise the name of the living god ninatoa macho ya moyo wako na ninayaelekeza kwa bwana ninaondoa macho ya wachungaji kwa washirika ninayaweka kwa bwana anza kumwangalia bwana siku ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the living god Nilisema in our ministry we have been given 15 cars. Out of those 15, five zimetolewa na washirika. Na zitolewa ngi nikihubiri juu ya magari. Hapana. Ni watu tu wanaleta kumi zimetolewa na watu sio wa kanisa langu. Wengine hata ni wachungaji. Wanaguzi watu na Mungu wanaleta. Ya mwisho ambao tulipokea about I think 2 3 months ago it is worth 5 million Kenya shillings. Praise the name of the living God. Ni ni gari nzuri kuliko ile ninaenda naye. Tunaiuza tufanye kazi ya Mungu. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Lakini na mimi naweza kusema ya kwamba kila wakati hata nikifanya project hata kama tuko na washirika wengi huwa nayaweka macho yangu kwa Bwana. Praise the name of the living God. Kama wakati tulikutupatia hiyo gari nilikuwa na opportunity ninaona Mungu amefungua mlango wa radio frequency na TV frequency na tumekuwa na vision na nilijenga studio about four years ago for radio and for TV na Mungu amefungua mlango tumekuwa na project ya prayer center tumetumia over 50 million naona siwezi enda kuambia washirika watoe pesa zingine. Nikamwambia Bwana you are going to provide. 
siku tajia wa shirika niliwaambia nimekuwa na mzigo kwa sababu ya project hii na Mungu ameleta gari hii itauzwa na itafanya hii kazi praise the name of the living god haleluya ukimwangalia bwana katika maisha yako wewe mama ulie hapa wacha kuangalia hiyo mshahara ya bwana yako ya 1017 na 500 kila mwisho wa mwezi ni fujo nyonio leo raga ile ebesha tororo ngo anashia dhira haha kila mwisho wa mwezi ni fujo ya kuzigawa toa pesa kwa hiyo mshahara anza kuweka macho yako kwa bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the living god Wengine ile kama mshahara unalipwa ni kama mshahara ambayo hata ukigawa haiwezi kugawika. Hata ukinunua suti, pengine ununue suti zile zimevaliwa na watu wengine. Jina la Bwana ipewe sifa. But there is a way you can teach. Kuna wakati nilifanya mkutano kwetu nyumbani wa siku tatu, nikaambia watu nitawafundisha course. Hata kama hukupelekwa shule na baba na mama yako, hata kama hukwenda polytechnic nikawaambia nitawafundisha siku tatu na nikawaambia ile course nitawafundisha ni jinsi ya kumwamini Bwana na imani yako ianze kukufanyia kazi praise the name of the living god and there is nothing greater like when your faith is working for you yani unaamini inafanyika unaamini inafanyika